for those of you who, uh, you know, haven't been keeping up with the wrestling stuff. Uh, this game came out the other day. This is called WrestleQuest. This is a game where it is a wrestling RPG with a lot of uh, wrestling characters in it. So this should be pretty fun. Let's try to get a pro wrestling sim more. I love TW, but I also want to try PWS. I want to, I definitely want to play PWS on stream. I definitely want to play it more. But my problem with it is that, like, I just, I, every time I try to play it, I just struggle with, like, doing much of anything with it. And it, it is, you know, an interesting game. I just, I'm so used to TW that it's, like, hard for me to want to dive into PWS. Um, uh, I know it's really, it'd be really hard to do, like, a YouTube series with it. Because, like, for me trying to, you know, block off what the rest of the show is going to be like, I'd have to resize everything. And it would be kind of weird, but. Uh, you know, might be a future stream thing for me. Otherwise, just more of an off-screen thing. But, here we are with the WrestleQuest. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting game. Um, I'm not sure. I've, I've only seen just a couple of videos. I know a lot of the characters that are in it. Um, I know that the, uh, the Deadlock Boys are in it. I know that uh, Leva Bates is in it. I know, you know, some of the characters you see there on screen are in it. Uh, and then I've seen like a couple of videos, kind of, you know, kind of highlight videos or whatever, but that's really about it. So I don't, I haven't watched any streams of this. I haven't watched NL play it. I, you know, I haven't seen any of that stuff yet. So I'm going to be going into this mostly blind. We'll have to kind of see, uh, that's, we're going to have to see how this ends up playing out. Everybody that's going to help me navigate the game is the biggest struggle I've been having. Yeah, it makes sense. I got to get the, I forgot to put the chat box back on the screen. So we're going to dive into this. We're gonna see how this uh how this ends up playing out. So Ooh yeah. I don't know what I can do audio wise because I don't want to get like shut down on Twitch for playing this, but I gotta imagine it's not gonna be like that bad. I gotta imagine, you know, they're probably at least a little bit more lenient when it comes to like streaming wise. Uh so maybe you guys can maybe everyone can hear it, maybe you can't. I don't know for sure, but Okay, Podcast Chorus says, Welcome to the Toy Room, where every action figure, toy miniature, and plushie dreams of wrestling greatness. Jake the Snake says, From the board game Jungles of Jungle... Jungleology? Sounds about right. I was going to say, <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page says to the wintry winds of the great north. Oh, man, we're going to Canada. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a snow globe, apparently. Uh, it looks like that's actually the wrestling ring. That's pretty cool. Jeff, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's in this, too. Every toy lives, breathes, and craves wrestling, practicing their slams, and paying homage to legends that came before them. Ooh, yeah, the macho man. Conrad Thompson says, Many tales of creativity and imagination have sprung from the toy room, and many fabled battles have taken place here, both in and out of the ring. Oh, Paige and Jake the Snake and Jeff Jarrett are actually a part of this podcast. Podcast course has one such tale and its many battles. Both of the plastic and of the heart are about is about to begin. And a quest of this size takes not one hero, but two. Everybody's shared. Oh my god, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? What's the code? What's the code? Who is it? <laughs> oh yeah it's the macho man dig it he's coming to the ring oh yeah What in the hell is that? 
We're here to see the cream rise to the top. So if you want to find me, don't look sideways. Don't look behind you. Just look up. Stone Age Cotton says, No way, Macho Man. Forfeit the match and give that championship belt to its rightful owner. Me. Why are you standing on what looks to be like a bunch of dynamite? What the hell? Listen, lizard. You gotta earn this belt with your madness in the ring. It only belongs to the best year. That's why I'll be the champ for a long time. Dig it. 10,000 years as world champion. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that good. I'm not great with Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> Are those shades a little too dark? Can't you see I have this place rigged to blow? That is dynamite. What the hell? Why are we going to blow up the entire arena just because you won't get the championship from him? It says, explosives don't scare me, you stitched up cotton ball. You can't win by cheating. I mean, if he kills you, he can just take the belt for himself, I guess. You always think you're such a hero, don't you, macho man? You can't win when the deck is stacked against you this bad. And that's the bottom thread because Stone Age said so. Oh my god. <laughs> That was terrible. <laughs> and that's the bottom thread. Cause Stone Age said so. <laughs> wow. Can't win. Stone Age, you are just a grain of sand in the desert of Macho Madness. Elbow drop blows everything up. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. But, did you guys see that? That's going to depend Young on how Randy much I Santos. get obsessed with this game here, because in case you didn't you know. says, forget it, Randy. We'll never get tickets this late. Clark says, come on, we can still wrestle outside. Are we going to wrestle? Oh, we're going to wrestle. Oh, look at him on the top rope. Go for it, Randy. Oh, elbow drop. Oof. <laughs> Good thing this isn't the plastic mattress. Man, how do the pros do some of these high-flying moves without hurting each other? Are you kidding me? It's all fake, dude. Whoa. 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 Exposing the business. What the hell, Peanuts? Man, Peanuts out here exposing the business. What the hell, man? Don't just reveal that it's all fake and stuff. What the hell is wrong with you? Exposing the business like that. What? Watch your mouth. It's still real to me. <laughs> yeah, Peanuts, shut it. Says the the guy with a luchador mask on and a championship belt around his waist. You really think it's real? Really? Man, this I don't like this Peanuts guy. He's uh, He's like so many of those bullies over time that just really kind of stuck it to you. Of course it's real. <laughs> it's about it's about as real as Todd. Who's Todd? Is that the robot? Is the robot named Todd? That's awesome. <laughs> the, the robot's name is Todd. Hey, counterfeit toys are still real. Shut up, Todd. Wow, man, Peanuts is a dick. What the hell? And you, Randy, even if wrestling was real, which it isn't, you'll never be a pro. No kid from our town ever could be. Man, Peanuts is a dick, man. Like, what the hell? You couldn't be more wrong. Wrestling is real, and I'll be its greatest champion ever. Oh, see? <laughs> of course. Of course. It's Brandy Santos, of course. Several years later. Ah, yes. This new outfit feels estupendo. Estupendo. I better get out to the main port part of the gym. Mr. Stretch wants me to train the new students. The radar on the bottom corner will help you stay on course. Icons will appear for quest objectives, shops, and healing. When in doubt, look here to keep slamming in the right direction. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. I want to look in this locker. What's in the locker? Nothing's in the locker. What about this locker? Nothing's in there. What about this one? Nothing's in there either. What about this bag? I can't look in the bag. 
just so we are clear for anybody watching this uh, with me over, you're going to be seeing me exploring a lot. <laughs> I love exploring in RPG games like this. Oh, I can't go back here. Go around the wall. Oh, there's a vending machine. Can I get anything? No, I can't get anything. Can you go? I want to I want to explore stuff. I want to get into stuff. All right, I guess we're going this way. Who is this? Johnny Stretch says, there you are, Randy. Get in the ring and show these greenhorns the ropes. You got it, Mr. Stretch. All right, time to... Does that dude have just foam fingers on his hands? What? What? How are you supposed to wrestle with foam fingers on your hands? How the hell are you supposed to do a lockup or anything like that with foam fingers on your hands? What in the hell are you doing, kid? You want to discover how to win the crowd's loyalty and hear their cheers shake the very foundation of the universe? You want to become a coiled spring of excitement, the most electrifying thing that the world of wrestling has ever seen? Man, this is downright poetic. Thank you, Spear Chan. Then you are in the right place, muchachos. Take some notes and soak it in. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got a hype meter. On your turn, you can strike, taunt, use an item, or use a gimmick. Let's practice our strikes first. Okay. A. He's got brutal. Oh, it's brutal hands is the character name. Whenever you strike, you can earn some extra damage if you're able to match the button prompt. Try it now. Great. Oh, C. Nice job. Ow. Most attacks have a chance to send your opponent to the ropes. Try it, amigo. Okay. Strike. Oh, off the ropes. After knocking him into the ropes, you'll have a chance for a follow-up attack. Do it now. Big kick. Nicely done. Check out your height meter down at the bottom. This is a measure of how pumped the crowd is in your favor. You can raise the height meter by mixing up your attacks and nailing button prompts. Ow. Oh, I came off the ropes and kicked him. Rebound attack. Hype up the crowd for extra damage and even to enable some powerful moves. One way you can build hype is by using the taunt option. This will generate hype equal to 2 plus your influence. All that grand stadium will leave you vulnerable, though, and you'll take an extra 25% damage for one round. Try taunting round. Why would I do that? I guess... Whatever. Getting hype, I guess. Ow! See, that wasn't worth it. It lowered my hype more. Tony is risky, but it can help you build hype quickly. Beware, though. If the hype meter dips into your enemy's favor, they'll gain extra power instead. Speaking of extra power, let's try out a gimmick. These are special abilities and wrestling moves. Gimmicks. Grab an enemy and show him some spice, dealing, deals damage to one target. And we can't do those ones, so let's do this. South of the border, Stunner. Stunner! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, shoot. I missed the thing. My bad. Such power. Such strength. Such machismo. Actually, I clicked the wrong button when I did, but yeah. Wow. What happens if you fail the prompt after knocking an enemy into the ropes? Well, we just learned. And the enemy will use that momentum against you. So you better nail it. Is the only way of beating an opponent to make them lose all their HP? Dios mio, no. In fact, most other wrestlers you face will have to be pinned. Observe. See how this guy looks weak and ready to drop? We call this state fatigue. You can fatigue an enemy by bringing them to low HP. Some abilities may also fatigue enemies as a debuff. Let's send him to the mat with a strike. He's fatigued. Now this enemy has fallen. When your opponent is on the mat like this, he's ready to be put in submission. The pin option will be available in the gimmick menu. Uh, you just said he's ready to be put in submission, so the submission is not a pin. The pin is not a submission. I guess unless you make it one. Gimmicks, go for the three count. Time to pin him. Cover. To successfully pin him, you'll have to hit the button when the indicator's in the green zone.
Hell yeah, we pinned him. That referee went flying. <laughs> he, went, he went flying out of the ring. Nice, now the enemy is down and out. If you fail the pin attempt, your enemy will kick out and recover some HP. You can always attempt to pin him again after damaging him. Every pin attempt you do will get easier. Well, that's good to see. Be on your guard, though, Tapo. Tipo? Enemy wrestlers can also pin you if you get too weak. Once you are pinned, there is no coming back. Also, note that not all enemies will need to be pinned. Only wrestlers and other tough guys. Ding, ding, ding. We won the match. Hell yeah, we leveled up. Hell yeah, we leveled up. That was a help. That was a lot of XP. <laughs> we will simply just go to level three immediately. Look at that. We now have 370 HP. Let's go. Or at least Randy Santos does. And that covers the basics of wrestling. Yep, that's the basics of wrestling right there. A few strikes, a stunner, uh, and then a strike and a pinfall. That's the basic of wrestling. Also, his hands are, his foam fingers are just standing up in the middle of the ring now. Strike and slam your opponent and be sure to hit those button prompts for extra damage. Beat them up enough and they'll be softened up for a pin. Remember to keep things exciting and interesting to keep the crowd engaged so that you retain control over the hype meter. Thanks, Randy. Why don't you lend a hand with the other greenhorns around? When you're done, come see me in the AV room for some lessons with the other advanced students. What? What? What are you two fighting up there on the ladder for? Oh, I gotta work on this guy. Huh. Huh. <laughs> so death come in three. I just saw Chris Vanville post up. Bob Barker has passed away. What the hell, man? God damn it, Death, stop taking people. Damn, man. I mean, he's been out of it for a little while, but I grew up watching him. That sucks. Damn, man. Freaking stupid death. Stop coming after... Stop uh, doing this. What? Yeah, that's that sucks. Uh, Let's talk to this guy. Swap Stefan says, what's up with the ladder? Are they repairing something? The only thing they're fixing is the lack of spice in this matchup. Many battles include some kind of extra scheme or rules. These themes amp up the challenge and the crowd. For a special match, attaining victory is a matter of playing by the rules for that match. Yeah, rest in, rest in peace, Bob Barker. That, that sucks. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Maximum M Anarchy. What's wrong with that guy? Did he drink a bad slam shake? I'm afraid not, amigo. He's suffering from a status effect. Many abilities add lingering effects that can help or harm you. Vain means you are particularly influenced by the crowd's behavior. You are less powerful and the crowd is negative towards you. The dreaded hype drain will cause you to generate less hype with the action. Muy desafortunado. I'm not great at Spanish. Mint condition toys are super valuable and well protected, taking 50% less damage. Generate twice as much hype with each action when you are vibing. Burning units lose 5% of their HP each turn. Or every turn. There many more status effects to be sure to stock up on healing items or wear gear that protects you. I can't talk to him. Oh, I can't talk to him. Who knew a gut buster would be so gut busting? Ugh. Sorry, Lopex. Loplex. Uh, can we work the bag? Oh, we can't work the bag. Anybody in here? Need a vending machine? No. Hmm, which tor what torso do I choose? Is it really all about the fringe? The fringe is important, but you should also consider the materials that the torso is made of. Each material reacts differently to the many types of element damage out there. If you know what element your enemy is going to use, you can prepare for it. Okay. British Bulldog. Yes, we're going this way. 
Yeah, rest in peace, Bob Barker, for sure. All right, who here knows the secret to pumping up the crowd? Leonard Alpha says, I do, it's baby oil. Yep, baby oil pumps up the crowd all the time. I would be pumped up if I saw baby oil. Come on, Leonard. How many times do I have to tell you that baby oil is not the answer to everything? You know what? Get out of here. Go do some burpees until you puke. Uh, yeah, Leonard. So you can pump up the crowd by showing your spice in the ring. Very good, Randy. But what about before you get in the ring? I'll tell you. You've got to get them on the mic. you got to get on the mic and cut a promo so hot it will ignite the crowd and burn your opponent to ash. How do you do this? Part of it is knowing your enemy. And part of it is being fast on your feet. Time to try it, Randy. Come on up here. Hell yeah, we get to cut a promo? Let's say you do with a rapid fire session. Uh, let's see. Says Tremor. Randy is, uh, he has a stupid name. Oh, burn. Got him. He said I have a stupid name. What a burn. Randy is better than the seismic disappointment or whatever it is you call yourself. Hell yeah, all the hype. Blind Viperia says, Randy is so weak, even I can see that he doesn't stand a chance of winning. Good hype. <laughs> yeah, but can you smell what uh, what I am doing? That might be true for snakes and ladders, but we're here to wrestle, so you're going down. I'm going to crack Candy Santos over here like a sugar cookie, says Tabby Flynn. I'm going to dump this kitty cat here in the litter box. We should be careful with all that sugar and candy or you might get diabetes. I mean, neither one of these are that good, but I'm going to go with the one on the right. There you go. I got hype. You see, class, you can generate hype before a big match by flexing on the mic. If you want to see more, I have an old match here on the TV between the Lochador and Dash Talent, who back when the Lochador was, part of, was still part of PAW, or PAW. Prior to this bout, Dash had been antagonizing the Bethenic Terror with a fishing rod during his matches against other opponents, trying to hook him with during a high-flying move. Alright, you slam junkies, get back to work. Except for you, Randy. I have a job for you. What is it, Mr. Stretch? There's a guy from the Boxwood Extreme Wrestling, the local wrestling league, over at the Macho Man statue. You know it? Do I ever? Great. This BEW wrestler needs help with his gimmick. You'll know him when you see him. He's kind of between styles. Quest started. Face paint and handshakes. We started a quest. Alright. Check out your current objectives and past accomplishments in the quest tracker. This tool will provide a summary of your quest and provide directions on where to go next. Press right trigger to bring up a UI panel in the overlord in the over in the overlord in the overworld as a helpful reminder of what you should be doing. So we gotta go to the Macho Man statue to the east to meet a local wrestler in need of aid. Uh, I can't talk to him. Can I talk to him? Some of the other new slam junkies might have some questions. Feel free to explain and teach them a thing or two. Uh, you know what? Let's watch this match real quick. I've been watching you, Lochador, and I gotta say your skills in the ring lack a certain flair, a certain style, a certain pu Panach. Panch? I'm not sure how you say that. I think what you need is a big hook. Yow! Wait a minute now, Mr. Talent. Are you saying you had something to do with all the fishing tomfoolery that's been going on during the Lochador's other matches? Says Green Jean. You know, instead of Mean Jean. <laughs> me? At one of the Lochador matches? Gene, you couldn't pay me to show up to one of his fish flops. Yow! Besides, I only fish for my yacht. Ha ha ha! It's funny, senior talent. You come in here and brag about your money, yet it's obvious you can't even afford a decent wig. Oh, got him! You guild bottom feeder! I bought fish bigger than you. That's because you couldn't catch one yourself. Ha! Yes, I'm sure you have to pay for all sorts of things, like bad wigs. Or companionship. Ha ha! Whoa, are you implying that you're getting escorts? <laughs> Alright, this game's uh, going down that path, apparently. 
So you see the Lochador used Dash Talon's own insults against him. The Benthic Terror also hit him where it hurts, his bragging about his money and way with the ladies. Wow, I bet Dash didn't see that coming. I don't know, his reaction didn't seem all that surprised. He didn't sell it very well, in my opinion. Sell it? What are you talking about? Gotta sell the promo, apparently. Run, 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 run. Get Stretched Pro Wrestling Gym. That's where we're at. We're at the Get Stretched Pro Wrestling Gym. Alright, well, we've already talked to everybody, unless there's a new person around here. So let's keep going this way. Neural. Uh, go in the exit. Time to exit. Time to go out into the world. The world map. Barbell. Ladder. Shoo! <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. All right, we're going here. Big Macho Man statue. The Cream Macho Man statue. Let's travel here. Known for his con consummate physical ability, his savage wrestling style, and his deep gravelly voice, Macho Man Randy Savage is po quite possibly the most iconic legend of wrestling. Celebrating 29 title reigns across his 32-year career, Macho Man was not just a celebrated champion, but a long-standing crowd favorite as well. Whether cutting exciting promos or delivering incredible theatrical flying elbow drops, Randy Savage won fans and accolades everywhere he went. Even today, Savage is revered by fans and wrestlers alike, with his story inspiring generation after generation. It's no secret that someone like Macho Man can make the entire wrestling world stand up and go, Ooh, yeah. It's truly something, isn't it? Eh, I was always more a fan of guys that wore face paint. Says Neon Gravebird. Well, that time Jake the Snake trapped Macho Man in the ropes and attacked him with that Cobra would go over big in BEW. BEW. Wait, you're the guy I'm here to meet? I'm from the training gym. I'm here to help. Great. So you see, I can't quite decide which way to go. Should I be vibrant and electrifying or dark and brooding? I think dark and brooding fits BEW better, but I just love using bright colors. I've got to pick something that will fit with the vibe of the other guys, or the writers won't know how to use me. Writers? Forget it. Look, can you just go to the face paint shop for me? They have some samples I want to try out. Sure. Face paints. So the writers will like you. Poor thing, babbling about writers. You must be delusional. Babbling about writers. Head to the face paint shop to do the thing. Whatever that was. To help out the poor delusional neon great bird. I'm going to talk to some people. Emiko says, I came all the way down from that place to check out the shrine. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm not good with that either. Uh, there's this guy. Spreadsheet Alpha. My daughter asked me to bring her here, then told me not to stand by her. Guess I'm not cool enough. Oh, well. Maybe I can check out that face paint shop when we're done. Is that, is this your daughter? Cool. Uh, different attires of him. Who's this guy? Sir Ren the Fair. Even in Calgaria, we honor the Macho King's exceptional slamming chivalry. Cal Hero says, dude, check out that fringe. Macho Man sure knew how to dress. He's like the best part of the 80s all rolled up in one. And Aram Claw says, Randy Savage is truly one of the best. I hope I could be like him someday. Maybe this is his daughter. I don't know. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, that's just us reading the same thing. Let's go to the face paint store, apparently. We're on our way to the face paint store, which is right here. But we gotta go around the outside of it. Face to face. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hola, amigos. Hmm. Strange. There's nobody here. Maybe they're in the back? Face paint? On your feet? What kind of madman would do such a thing? Can I explore? Can I look in the mirror? I want to look in the mirror. Aw, oh, dang. Can't do anything in the mirror. Hello, I am now the owner of this, I'm now the uh, proprietor of this shop. 
Uh, I will sell you face paint. Hello? Man, this is a boring job. No, he's coming in. Hey, there's feet marks. Maybe that's why they meant face paint on your feet. We gotta follow the mark, the feet prints. What the hell? Take it all. Gather the war paint for our overlords, says Russell Raider. They're looting the shop. Here's one. Take him alive and we'll melt him down to use his plastic as war paint. Whoa, what the hell? Time to battle this guy. Let's hit him with a strike. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize there was going to be a different button prompt. That's right. We got that one back. Ugh. Off the ropes. Big kick. South of the border stunner. Let's go. Big stunner. Off the ropes. Big kick. He's fatigued. Wasteland wall. Oh, no. He's hitting us with a big move. Oh, you got his damage up. Uh, that's items. Taunt. Let's strike him again. A token, apparently. I'm guessing it's going to be in here. Alrighty, so still 33% treasure found. We can go get this treasure here. Action figure Speedos. Oh, can I put on a Speedo? <laughs> Where's that at? Is that going to be... Here we go. Hell yeah. Popular garment for many superhero action figures. Armor rating of 2. I'm wearing a Speedo. We got an achievement. As we filled each or every equipment slot on one character. Hell yeah, we're wearing a Speedo too. Look at that Speedo. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright, and we found the table spot token. And we have 100% of the treasure in here. That is awesome. So I can't do anything with that. Alright, let's go back here. We gotta go do this table spot. Oh, we put a wrestler through a table. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. More war paint. Our masters demand it, says Clutch Hold. Salesman says, somebody help. We're being robbed. We will save you. Come on, Clutch Hold. We'll kick your ass. Let's go with a strike. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, strike stuff. Oh, I took a punch. Uh, let's do some. Let's do a gimmick. Let's do the book stunner. Stunner south of the border. Stunner. Kick to the gut. Boom with the stunner. He's fatigued. At the wasteland wall. He did this earlier. He increased his damage. Oh, he struck him. He's down. He's falling and he can't get up. Go for the pin. Oh, I missed that one. Two count. Out. Strike him again. So he can be down. Try to go for the pin again. Hell yeah, we pinned him. We are the winner. We are the winner. Oh, oh just shy of level three. Buddy, that was amazing. Are you a superhero? Says Salesman. Ha! Superheroes are fake. I'm a pro wrestler. Well, whatever you are, those were some macho moves, muchacho. 
Yes. Macho moves, muchacho. I like the sound of that. Those blasted wrestler raiders were come down here to get supplies for the rituals to worship the road warriors, hawk and animal. I wish they would emulate somebody heroic. Oh man, not the road warriors. Someone more heroic. Anyways, what can I do for you, bud? It's in on the house. Amigo, I'm here for a special order. Some samples for an ombre going through an identity crisis. Ah, I know the one. Can't decide between goth and surfer. Here they are. Can't decide between goth and surfer, huh? Man, I wonder if that sounds like somebody that's a wrestler at one point. Thanks, muchacho. Alright, we gotta return to Neon Gravebird at the Randy Savage site statue. Let's go. Doesn't sound like anybody at all in the wrestling business. Not a single person. I like the salesman's back. I talk to you here. Hello, we carry the very best in face makeup here, but it doesn't look like your gimmick needs any. Okay. All right, we're going back to the statue. Hello, we have your face paint, Neon Gravebird. Here, I hope these help in your quest at BEW. Thanks. Say. What do you think I should choose? Uh, you gotta go surfer style. You'll, you'll stand out more in a suit's a true hero. Or go goth, amigo. You'll be more intimidating and mysterious. Fans will love it. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna tell him to go goth. Thanks. I'll consider that. If you need me, I'll be over here practicing some catchphrases. Yasuki, go see Johnny Stretch back at the gym. We will simply go this way so we can go to the gym. Hey, Randy. How'd that job go? I appreciate you doing it. It should strengthen our gym's relationship with BEW. It was unexpectedly enlightening, sir. Yeah, Boxwood Extreme Wrestling is a trip. They really push for an intense vibe, what with all the barbed wire and edgy characters and all. But it's what you gotta do if you want to compete with the top dogs like PAW, Plush, and Action Figure Wrestling. I meant enlightening about myself, sir. Great. It's always good to learn more about ourselves and strive to become better. That's enough for one day. Are you closing up again tonight? You bet, sir. Thanks, Randy. It's dedication like that that will take you far. Hell yeah, we completed the quest. Please help Mr. Stretch's new students, and please help that poor BW wrestler regain his senses. Amen. What a great day, Macho Man. I feel like I learned so much. I'm convinced, now more than ever, that we must always live out our wrestling spirit. I like how we're sleeping in a wrestling in a uh, sleeping bag underneath the Macho Man statue or statue poster, and that the world needs heroes. Good night, Macho Man Randy Savage. Heh, Macho Muchacho. All right, we woke up. You're here already. The sun hasn't even put the moon down for a three count yet. Always good to get an early start, sir. You know, we're actually sleeping here, but sure, we're here already. Is that a sleeping bag coming out of your locker? Doesn't matter. Listen, I've got a surprise for everyone. Head over to the ring when you're ready. Yeah, don't ask. Don't ask about our sleeping bag. I want to see... Okay, we are leveled up. Or we're all healed up again. I didn't know if I was going to have to use a health thing or not. Alright class, stop the flex and turn your necks. We've got a special lesson for you. Randy, get in the ring. Today, we'll be learning about managers. Managers act as ancillary, ancillary partner, or party members that provide all sorts of benefits, benefits like new gimmicks. Open the gimmick menu. Now scroll to the right to see your manager gimmicks. 
All right, use my power heckle gimmick now. Power heckle. Look, the manager's out ringside. Oh, I weakened him. Pretty cool, huh? Manager gimmicks will cost AP just like your regular gimmicks. They may also have other requirements. These gimmicks can be used by any member of your stable, so they can comp complement your existing abilities by filling in skill gaps. For instance, if you don't have any healing abilities, use a manager who does. Most managers will also have passive skills that provide bonuses to all members of your stable. They are versatile and powerful components to your stable. Choose them wisely. Sir, you kept mentioning our stable. Do you mean that sometimes we won't have to wrestle alone? Of course not. You may find other slam junkies that you can call friend, or even brother, or sister. Brother! We'll talk more about that in today's advanced lesson. Head to the AV room when you're ready. I think it's basically just the same stuff out here, right? Yeah. Look at the jog. Ooh, yeah. So, class, yesterday we talked about how your skills on the mic can impact your hype meter. Even more important than that is what kind of hype, tra hype type you choose. Who knows what a hype type is? God damn it, Leonard. Leonard says, I do. It's a type of baby. If you say baby oil, I will choke slam you. <laughs> That's how you generate hype, sir. Bingo. I think a visual aid will help demonstrate this. This is a classic paw training video I scored from a flea market last month. Jacques AZ. Welcome to PAW's official hype type training video. There are many exciting personalities in the styles of world of professional wrestling, which we'll cover today. Each of these generate hype with different actions. For example, the powerhouse type, which Big Daddy Squeeze uses, builds up the crowd by dealing damage. Check this out. Big move. Those with the showman type, like the magnificent Dash talent, generate hype by taunting and flaunting. Ooh, yeah. Sidekicks like Jacques or as Elik cheers whenever they support another unit. Wily technicians pump up the crowd with their keen wrestling ability, which often inflicts status effects. Allow the ominous Grim Jim to demonstrate. Pile driver! But never underestimate underdogs like Lochador. Because the crowd loves it when they come back against the odds. Her Karana. You're free to choose a hype type for any of your characters. Experiment to find the ones that suit your style or strategy. Oh man, we gotta choose a we gotta choose a style here. Let's see. Uh okay, so we got powerhouse. Attacking generates one. Hype, defeating, not pinning an enemy, defeats 5 hype, getting a critical hit, generates 10 hype. All gimmicks cost an additional 10% AP and damage reduction reduced by 10%. We got Showman, which taunting generates hype. Nailing button presses during combat generates hype. After taunting, all friendly units take 50% extra damage for one turn and damage reduction is reduced by 10%. We got Sidekick, using healing or buffing gimmicks, generate 3 hype. Healing a fatigued unit generates 5. Reviving a falling generates 10. And using items generate 1. All gimmicks cost an additional 10%. And normal attacks deal 10% less damage. We got Technician. The only button presses during combat generates 3 hype. Pinning opponent generates 5. Inflicting a debuff generates 3. And dealing a bonus at element damage generates 3. And normal attacks deal 15% less damage. And we got the Underdog. Acting while under fatigue or a debuff generates 3. Acting while friendly unit is KO generates 5. Stopping an opponent from pinning you generates 10. And then normal attacks deal 15% less damage. Alright. Um, honestly, I think I kind of like the idea of a technician. 
which is basically kind of like your your wizard character in this kind of a thing because it's all about like causing debuffs and elemental damage and everything like that i kind of like the idea of that so we're gonna be a technician okay that's enough for now don't forget your essays on the poetics of pile drivers are due monday we're gonna be a technician now hey did you guys hear paul is supposed to put on a dark match over in boxwood dude no way that's incredible yeah and from what i hear it's going to be an open event anyone can take part Here's the catch. Since the event is in Boxwood, you know the BEW is going to try to get their guy into it. Hmm. If BEW will be selecting a fighter, they'd have to choose their championship hold title holder, right? All we have to do is become the BEW champion. Then they'd have to pick us. What makes you think you could become the BEW champion? All I have to do is defeat the current champion, right? Yeah, but BEW would have to work you into the storyline, and you'd have to get over more than the current champion, and... Look, hombre... All I need to do is beat the current e PAW champion. Then I get to be in the PAW dark, PAW dark match, and then maybe even earn a spot on PAW. Dude, Randy Santos knows nothing about the wrestling business. That's not much of a plan. My plan is no plan. I'm the human torpedo. Watch out, Boxwood. Here I come. The human torpedo. Dude, come on now. That guy is crazy. You know what? I agree. I don't know, man. He's pretty sincere. You can tell he lives and breathes this stuff. He needs to grow up. That's not how the world works. I think his authenticity, his hope, is inspiring. Attractive, even. Maybe a dose of reality in Boxwood will open his eyes. I promise, I won't fail you. Hey, Randy. I'm locking up for the day. See you Monday? Actually, Mr. Stretch, do you have a minute? What's on your mind? Sir, I'm ready. Ready to enter the world of professional wrestling. Paul is putting on a dark match over in Boxwood. I plan to become the BEW champion and enter the match for a shot at the big time. I've even got my gimmick picked out. From now on, I will be the Spice himself, the south of the border savage, Muchacho Man. Oh, see. That's quite the impressive shtick, Muchacho Man, but it takes more than a gimmick to win in the world of professional wrestling. You've got the skills and the heart, kid, but you may not have the wisdom to navigate the temptuous world of professional wrestling. Not without losing your soul. My soul? The world of, of pro wrestling is larger, is full of larger-than-life heroes. And terrible villains. Oh no, not a villain. We don't like villains. I'm not afraid, Seenor Stretch. And my mind is already made up. I have to do this. I know it is, kid. And I know there's no stopping you. So you have my blessing, but take heed. This world has a way of stomping on goodness, so be prepared to fight. But keep slamming, and greatness can be yours. Oh, see. Yeah. What a sh and shake thing there. Alright, a wrestling quest begins. We have officially started the wrestling quest. Rebecca Lux, thank you for the follow. Do we not have that... Uh... Popping up on there? Nope, I did not. We'll see that again there. There we go. Thank you for the follow. Definitely appreciate it. We are playing some WrestleQuest here. Doing the thing. Uh, usually play a variety of wrestling games on stream. Mostly like TW, if you're familiar with that. But we are doing some WrestleQuest today. Because I'm excited for this game. Alright, we're going to the Macho Man statue. We'll see what this is like. This is it, Randy. What the hell? Where did these fireworks come from? I like the idea of just these random fireworks going off just because of this. But keep slamming and greatness can be yours. With these words, Muchacho Man enters the world. But can he find his way without losing his soul? We turn now to another hero looking at the same fate, fixed stars, contemplating his own path. Alright, so the podcast is like the navigator in this, got it. Fireworks, that's the cue. Show must be about to begin. It's Brink Logan. Eh, there you are. I should have known you'd be here, says Stag Logan. You're so predictable. I like to think of it as being reliable. Yeah, speaking of reliable... 
you think we could go over the script again, real quick? You didn't read it, did you? Come on, dude. You know I've been busy with that Hockey 94 tournament. Ha! <laughs> awesome. You're such a hoser sometimes, Stag. Next you're going to tell me that you didn't practice our walk-on either. Dot, dot, dot. Come on. We've got a little bit of time to go over it. Quest started. Walk this way. Okay. New party member. Stag Logan has joined the party. We've recruited Stag Logan to our stable. Flamingo Fringe Macho Statue. This is the Flamingo Fringe one. Oh, it's the same stuff. Alright. Gotta go this way. We're in the Great North. NCW. Do, 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 do. There's a kind of a bridge thing there. We're going up this way, though. Pond Fork. Oh, we get to wrestle with the Snow Globe, brother. Hey, check it out. They finished the town sign. Let's go over to the east side of town in the Snow Globe. Go to the Snow Globe Pond Fork's wrestling arena on the east side of town. 0% treasure found. You know I love finding treasure. Alright, so this is Pond Fork. You're an NCAA... Or NCAA... NCW Territory Partner. Cool. Uh, Hello. Slapshot Sally says, Don't you just love these dog sleds? I can't interact with the dog sleds, though. What? Wait. Why are you back here? Deanna De Deke says, Welcome to Pond Fork. Oh, it's you, Brink. I almost didn't recognize you with the new haircut. Knock him dead tonight. Thanks. Snowman. Did I talk to the snowman? We can't do anything with the snowman. There's somebody... There's a fox back there, though. Can I talk to the fox? What does the fox say? Hey, I found a treasure. Duct tape. Times four. Hell yeah. Can I interact with anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, duct tape's always a good thing to have. Let's see. Uh, so he just has basic stuff and he can't equip the other things that the other one has. That makes sense. Alright, let's go this way. Pro Wrestling Unlimited sign. What's up here? I see footsteps up here. Oh, did I just walk out of town? Nope. I went somewhere else. To a different part. Oh, it's a logging area. Long arm LaVoy says, Out of my way! I need to finish this pile, crush a flat stack of flapjacks, and then watch the match tonight. Another snowman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess I have to break these snowmen at some point. Pelletier Pancake Eater says, Sure are a lot of trees to log. Or sure are a lot of trees to log, eh? It'll take a break when it's wrestling time, though. Fournier says, I'm looking forward to putting on my feet, downing a pint of syrup, and watching the Honest Bucks take on the Hig boys tonight. Should be quite a show. Ow! You trying to strike the ground right by me? What the hell? Dude's trying to hit me with the axe. You're not demolition. Oh, treasure. We found an elbow pad. I think we already have an elbow pad on, though. Yeah, we already have one. So now we have two of them, apparently. Can I, like... I can't. I was going to say, can I, like, destroy them or something? Can I put it on Stag Logan? Oh, yeah, I can put it on Stag Logan. Oops. Well, I put the wrong one on him. I gotta put this one on them. Okay. There we go. Now they both have elbow pads. It's over here. Who's this guy? Gerard the Completionist. How do I keep warm in this weather? Completing games and covering up with his beard, of course. Or Gerard, I guess. Lasso Lapointe says, I live in Calgary, but I was born in Pond Fork. My dad and mom carved me right over there, in the backseat of that dog sled. Whoa, yo. <laughs> That's naughty. 
What's up here? Dog sled. I wonder what it got on there. What the? This uh, this uh, snowman has a sweater and a hat. Anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go in this welcome one. But first, let's talk to this person. Penalty Box Pam says, that's the Logan house up there. The Logans run the local wrestling promotion and all are all great people. Pillars of the community. Ah, it's you, Brink. Nice haircut. That's our home. Let's go to our home. Apparently, we can't go to our home. Alright. Actually, maybe it's not our home. I don't know. Now we can go on this one. Hello? I'm, I'm just here to take your treasure, apparently. Slam Shake! What's Slam Shake? Give your body... Give your toy body the stuff it needs to keep slamming. Resource 3, 30 AP. Cool. Can't interact with any of that stuff. We're at like, what, 75% treasure sound now? <laughs> snowy. <laughs> I love it. Just snowy. Whoa, this is a big place. Oh, this is our home. All right. Let's go this way. There's a juice bar. What is going on over there? <laughs> we can deep fry stuff. That's awesome. I want to be able to put something in there so I can deep fry it. I can't grab any of the turkeys. Thank you for letting me open the fridge showing more turkeys. Maybe we can do something later on. Near um, I got stuck. What's over here? Trophies. There's that. Can I, can I interact with the computer? Oh, I can't interact with the computer. Dang. Guess I could go back later on and probably interact with somebody here. Probably like the dad or something. Oh, ring. Let's get into it. Oh, we can't get into it. <laughs> Punch all the bags. You know, I haven't looked, but it would be hilarious if it turns out that there's like a achievement for punching all the punching bags in the game. There's nothing in those. That'd be hilarious. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's go this way. I guess both ways probably led us the same way. Hello? Is this our, is this our room? Might be. More trophies. Pieces of paper all over the place. This is a really cool looking game though. Like, there's a lot of good details in this. A metamorpher toy could do something with this. Oh. I'll we'll have to remember that. If I find a metamorpher toy. And I can do something with that, apparently. Alright, well, uh... Kind of explore this whole place. 
Not a lot to explore in there right now. Still 75% treasure found, so we gotta find one more treasure chest somewhere. What are you looking at? You, you you're lucky that these that that I can't get back there. Snowy. Wait, I was already in here. Oh, never mind, I wasn't in here. Hello. Construction Clark says, I love coming out here for vacation. Good skiing, good lodging, and good wrestling. Alright, cool. You have nothing else in your home. <laughs> nothing that we can do anything with anyway. Here is Scott Solid. I got a great view of the arena from here. Too bad I don't have tickets to the match, though. Can I get him tickets? I wanna find, I'm going to find tickets and give them to him. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try. Oh, I found the last treasure chest. Hell yeah, we found duct tape. All of the treasure found. And we're right by the arena. Snowmath says, going to the match, there's a 114 and two-thirds chance of you being entertained tonight. God damn it. <laughs> Steiner math re reference. That's awesome. I'll explore the rest of the town first. I want to see what the, the big old things over here is. Who's this guy? Northern Exposure says, what? Me? Too cold? It's not frostbite. It's skin training, buddy. You gotta be tough if you wanna wrestle. Alright. Weird. What's in here? Skis! Oh, it's a shop. Hell yeah. Syrup Box says, I got more deals than leaves. Take a look. And, oh my god. So we get to buy stuff, but we have no money. Cool. Script change. With the right storyline, even death is only an inconvenience. Revives a KO'd unit to 10% of their HP. Nice, that's the revival one. A revive. Interesting. Can I sell anything? Uh, I could sell some duct tape if I wanted. Yeah, let's sell one duct tape. So we can have some money. What can I buy for that? I can buy a worn out shoe. That's not going to help me out. That's going to lower my armor rating. Uh, that I already have, apparently. Oh, I can get the action figure your speedos, though. That will increase our armor rating. Or you can get a utility belt, which will really do it. And it can enable the smoke bomb gimmick. Cloth cape. That's the same. Gold pad we already have. I want to enable the spoke bomb gimmick. We're going to buy that. Cool. We can now do the smoke bomb gimmick. Alright. There was that. Chocolate? I want to buy some chocolate. Chuya says, I love coming to Pond Fork. The pace is so much slower here, especially compared to Macho Machi. I'm going to have to try to figure out how to say that. Uh... Because it's clearly a, a location in the game. So yeah, it's Omacho Machi, I'm guessing. Or Omacho Ma I'm not sure, but we're going to go with that. Uh, Coco Cal Calamity says, I tried to set up shop over by the snow globe, but that tailgating party is getting out of hand. Anyway, you want some hot chocolate? I'll heal you up. You look healthy to me. Feel free to come back for healing anytime. Nice. So that's going to be our healing area. Cool. All right. Let's go back to the... Actually... Yeah, I think we looked at everything else over there. So let's go back to the arena. Except let's go down here first. Girth Bealu says, I'm glad my shift at the logging site is over. Now I'm free to watch the match tonight. What in the hell? Sweet Bark says, man, I don't like the way that guy up there is looking at me. Ha! 
Get it? Because the, the logger guy. Can I talk to the fox? I want to talk to the fox. I can't talk to the fox. What in the hell? Carbather says, I don't mind the cold. It sure beats getting baked. Is that a potato? Are you a potato? Are you supposed to be a Miss Potato Head? Because if so, that's kind of awesome. All right, let's go to the arena. We are running this way. Macho, what up, man? Hope you find some DPW guys. Yeah, I'm not sure where they're uh, where they're hanging out. I I gotta see uh, how far I get into this. Have you started playing this yet? Angry Joe says, "Did you see that fast count of that match last night? They done refed it up." All right, thanks, Angry Joe. We are walking on the stuff. What is going on here? A big old party over here. Check out this sick carving I got. It says wrestling rules with a W. <laughs> All right. I got it to cover up the carving I got on my ex-girlfriend's name. Rula. Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Woo. Pass me that syrup. I'm ready to get wild. It's wrestling time, says Grandpa. They're tailgating, obviously. Sally Melly says, should we drink, be drinking syrup around Trent? Isn't that, you know, his blood or something? Maybe we should switch to hot chocolate. Mer Martinez says, I'm a big Hike Boys fan. I came all the way up here for check out their match tonight. Played for four hours ish so far. Nice. This is my first time playing it, so like I have no idea. Uh, you know, other than what I've seen so far, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm excited for it. Net Netty says, Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see Brink in action. He's so handsome. I mean, I'm standing right here. Hello, my name is Brink. <laughs> Huh, is it? It is! Oh my gosh, please, sign my sunglasses. <laughs> sure, I will sign your sunglasses. Can I Can I sign them? Can I sign, do I have to do like an action prompt for that? What's the button prompt for signing sunglasses? <laughs> Time to go to the snow globe. Practice styling and profiling during your walk-on. Okay, let's hurry before they start letting people in. Walk-on is all about impressing the crowd. It's all about strutting and flaunting your skills. Before the actual walk-on, you'll be able to choose various elements, like an intro, music, passive ongoing effects, and an outro. Intermediate options are actions you'll perform while walking down the ramp. Nail a button per press to perform them. Each element of the walk-on can increase your hype for the battle. Let's try it now. Here we go. It's time to do the entrance. Uh... You know, paparazzi screen flashing. Let the crowd know something big is coming. Oh, we're, we're getting paparazzi. Take them pictures. Our outro pre fight finale. We got f red or blue fireworks. Let's go blue. Passive. We got the expert of execution, Brink Logan's music here. The Spice himself, Muchacho Man theme music. Got the rain, screen shake, smoke, gray, spotlights. We got to have our music. Hit chair throw. <laughs> That's awesome. Throw the chairs out of the, onto the stage. That's awesome. Confetti, pyrotechnics. Uh, let's go some pyrotechnics. Some... Orange pyrotechnics. Oh, uh, A. That's fine. Yeah. You gotta push A for that. Wait, can I do multiple? Oh, awesome. All right, there we go. So we're confirming it. Let's do this thing. Yes. Hell yeah. A. Look at the pyro and the fire. X. Hell yeah. The confetti. And the fireworks going off. Hell yeah. See? Easy execution. Thanks for the refresher, cuz. We completed another quest. Who's this guy? 
Pa Logan says, there they are. How are my boys doing? It's our dad. Locked and loaded for tonight, dad. You guys read the script? Tonight, it's the Honest Bucks. That's us versus the Hyg boys. The Hygs are enjoying a major push as baby faces right now. I don't know if it's supposed to be like Higgs or Hygs. I'm, I keep saying Hygs, but I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. We're going to take them out, and then they'll do a reversal out of nowhere at the last minute. So, we got to lose tonight? Again? I hope you boys are okay with that. Of course we are, Dad. We're ready to serve North County Wrestling. Or North Country, sorry. North Country Wrestling. I'm proud of you boys. The family business couldn't have run without you. I guess it's supposed to be Stampede Wrestling, basically. Man, how can you be so cool playing the jobber all the time, eh? It's worth it to help out the family and the promotion. Besides, I don't mind losing when it's scripted. When it comes to a real match, I know I'm the best. We're the best, right, cuz? Exactly. Gotta take the loss tonight. I take the L. Alright, boys. Showtime. Just come on out when you're ready. Oh, I almost forgot. It would be a beauty if you two could take out Flars first with a one-two punch kind of deal. Sure. I could set him up with wet work and then Stack could finish him off with his antler bomb. Perfect. That'll make Lars even more heroic when he does his comeback. I'll go let the Hyg boys know of the update. Finally. Some instructions I understand. We're just going to stick with this stuff. That's fine. Hell yeah. Confetti! This is who we have to face tonight. You two don't stand a chance against the high boys. <laughs> I recognize that sweater. I saw your mom knitting it this morning after I left. Oh. Yeah, well, you guys certainly look cozy. G got him. High boys, by the looks of you, I thought we'd change your name to the Hungry Boys. Oh. I like the idea of us, like, sleeping with their mom, apparently. So, let's go this one. <laughs> enough honest, enough talk honest, Bucks. I got a steamy cup of hot chocolate waiting for me, and I don't want it to get cold. We got an achievement there, by the way. Yeah, let's make this a quick one, brother. Dramatic moments are special criteria that appear during boss battles and pivotal confrontations. Complete them to get special gear after the fight. Many times these are optional, but sometimes they are necessary to complete the match. Slam shake. So we have to, what was it? We had to beat up Lar, you know, fatigue fl Flars. There we go. It's on the left-hand side. That's good. All right. Let's fatigue Flars here. With a strike. And off the ropes. And another strike. Uh, You do the same thing. Some more strikes. Are you using a hockey stick? You just use a hockey stick on him. That's awesome. Not the cozy bomb. It's so cozy. That was so cozy of a bomb. Ow. Oh yeah? We'll take that. Okay. Let's do another strike. Oops. I missed that one. That's alright though. He's fatigued. Alright. Antler bomb. Oops. Oh, bam! Alright, so now we have to attempt to pin Lars, but let him kick out. Oops. Wet work. Oh, oh! It's like an atomic drop. And then a random shocking thing afterwards. Off the ropes. Oh, he's down. 
Oh, he, he healed though. Let's go for the pin on Lars. But we gotta let him kick out. Oh, he kicked out. Oh my god. He's hyping up. Psst, stag. This is it. Remember to break your fall. Oh. Ow. He threw me out of the ring. Bam. Oh my goodness. Lars has done it. What a reversal. The right, boys have won, and we'll continue on to Snow, snow slam on, Slamania. Unbelievable! <laughs> we got Winter Guns. I don't know what Winter Guns are, but we got them. Hell yeah, we leveled up. Hell yeah, we leveled up. Stack Logan is leveled up now. He now has Power Play for a gimmick. And Brink Logan has leveled up to level 3. And he now has Power Play and Jewel Smasher as a new gimmicks. Interesting. Dude, you are awesome as always. So clean. So precise. It's no wonder why they call you the expert of execution. Lars. Ha! More like the expert of excretion, wouldn't you say, Flars? Yeah, something certainly smelled tonight, and it wasn't my hot chocolate. You Matt Lickers sure do have a way of ruining a good mood, don't you? A good mood? Why would Lucy put you in a good mood? Because we did our job, Wolf for Brains. All that matters is how well we played our parts. Oh, I don't know. Winning is pretty important, right, Flars? Not that you two would know. Good point. Maybe one day we'll be talented enough that someone can hand us a scripted victory, too. Oh, got him. Ha 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 ha. You don't think we can beat you for real? Do you doubt the girth of our coziness? Anytime the high boys want to shoot, just say the word and we'll show you what real wrestling is like. Great job in there, you slam junkies. The crowd loved it. This will be our best snow, snow slamania yet. Yeah, especially when the high boys win it all. Come on, Flars. Brink, Stag, you guys never cease to amaze me. You're the backbone of this organization. Maybe even the whole sport. Man, for being the backbone, it sure does feel like we get bow. Alright, that's enough. Let's go hit the hay. Which in your case may be literal. Hey! That's a misconception. Moose sleep on leaves. <laughs> that's awesome. Go home. It's at the top of town. Cool. I gotta go home. Ho, oh, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, it's just the same thing. Did anybody say anything different after the match? Nope. Did we get? Yeah, we got, we got uh, coinage. Let's go to the shop. So we can buy some stuff. The shop that I just ran past. Let's get a... We can buy a hockey helmet. Armor rating of 9, prevent sleep and stun. Yeah, let's do that. Do that there. I got the hockey helmet. To help us out, armor rating wise. Uh, do we? Are we actually okay? We're good on health. All right, let's go up north and go to our uh, our home, so we can go sleep.
Nirum. Side boys really get to me. Such baby faces in the ring, but they're total jagoffs outside out of it. Someday. Someday. I just know that if I put my time in, pay my dues, and earn my stripes, greatness will come my way. When it does, I'll put it in a submission like lock. Something like a, sh a shooter of sharps or something. Alright, we're back to Randy Santos here. We're going to Boxwood. To BW Country here. Completed a wrestling quest. Man, this is a dark town. Boxwood, a rough town, but wrestling is popular here. I should find a place to stay while I fight to become the BW champion title hold championship title holder. I'm ready. Something spicy is going to happen here. I can just feel it. So here's Boxwood. Okay. I didn't even do much. I'm already in a cutscene. Help! Armed robbery! Armed robbery! Not armed robbery. They're literally trying to steal his arms. Shut him up. Troy, take his lips. Come on, man. I just got these parts. I just got these par parts. Hey, you better leave him alone, or Muchacho Man is going to show you what happens to two-bit thugs and miscreants. Oh, see. Si. Whoa, a tough guy, eh? How'd a guy wearing a blanket get so tough? This isn't a blanket. It's... Doesn't matter. We'll use it as your body bag in a moment. Get him! Uh, let's use a gimmick. Let's use a stunner on him already. Stunner on Troy. Kick to the gut. Stunner. Off the ropes. Laid him out. Ow, ow. Oh yeah, well I come back with a kick. Uh, can I actually like pin? No, I can't pin. Okay. All right, well, we're just going to give a stunner to him, too, then. Stunner! Yeah! We beat him! We are the winners! Leveled up! Hell yeah! Muchacho man is leveling up! Ooh, yeah! Or sorry, Uzi. <laughs> New gimmicks learned Grande Splash. Come on, let's beat it. Better enjoy that blanket while you can, tough guy. It's not a blanket. Alright, cool. Are you okay? Mansis, I was just about to bust those soft plastic knockoffs. I don't need any help. What? I saved you. Without Muchacho, man, you would have been mashed. Look, tough guy, we don't need saving around here. Comparing day, we can take care of ourselves. Alright, dude. So what are you supposed to be? Some kind of wannabe hero? Says Bar Barbe? Barbe, yeah. What? I'm the toughest. I'm the savagest. I'm the... Wait, is this Macho T? <laughs> I'm the savages, bro. <laughs> Listen, you seem new around here, so let me give you some advice. Keep your dumb cape and stupid shades out of other people's business. I was just trying to help. Wow. You know what? We're going to do it anyway. We're going to help everyone because we're going to. It's getting late. I should find a place to bed down for the night. Who says bed down? But I don't know if I can trust any hotels around here. That's okay. Nobody said the road to pro wrestling glory would be comfortable. I bet if I find a nice spot, if, I bet I can find a nice spot if I check that sign.
BW Wrestling is tough, just like our town. It says display standing. Uh, I don't know. Randy Savage, 187. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. I checked the sign. Aha! I bet a bench in that park will be just as nice as the floor back in the training gym. You gonna go sleep on a bench? Alright. Park to the north might have a bench you can sleep on. Cool. Who's this person? Brickhouse says, oh great, another wrestler wannabe. Beat it! Wow. Brickhouse is so friendly. Fight! Wait a minute. That looks familiar. Wind down says, this here's my street corner. You want a place to sleep or to work or sleep? Go try the park. Okay. Can I go to the shop? I can go to the shop. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anybody here. Okay, cool. I guess to be fair, I did say car shop. Is that a BW thing? Rep 2.0 says, Backbreaker Boneyard. The junkyard is east of town. Don't go there, though. That's hubcap gang territory. Alright. I didn't want to go to the park yet, but okay. I knew you'd be using that blanket tonight, tough guy. Oh, man. These guys are back. Too bad it isn't bulletproof, though. Is this the lobster bib guy? It says Chuck Chain. This is the last time I'm going to say this. Yes, it is. Get him, boys. What the hell? A car just crashed into two of them. This dude, the one in the Sarape, says Toy Box Jimmy. Is that what that is? Finally. What did I tell you about coming onto my turf, Chuck Chain? We ain't got beef with you, Toy Box. We're after this out of town or. Really? Earlier today, you were here after my little cousin. Cousin? I gotta say, I don't see the family resemblance. You know what? I don't either. Where, where is the family resemblance there? Family is a funny thing, boss. Ask your sister what I mean. Oh, got him! <laughs> you just jimmied your lack joke, Jimmy. Three on three action here. Never mind, it's two on three. Combat tutorial tag team battle. Muchacho man doesn't have to fight alone. Use powerful tag team gimmicks to turn the tide of any battle. You choose prepare for tag team with one character, then use the right arrow to go to the list of tag team gimmicks with the next character. Every combination of character has different abilities. Hell yeah, it's time to prepare for tag team. Uh, Lunchbox Jimmy. Bring the pain with a hard and spicy sensation. Here we go. Time for a tag team move. Hope. We knocked a taco into him. That, that works, I guess. We certainly got him. Came back with a kick. Off the ropes. Big kick. Alright. Let's strike down Troy. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna go after Troy because we're gonna try to knock him down. Knock it out. Hell yeah. Off the ropes. Big kick. There we go. Uh, what do you got for gimmicks? Five finger discount or chop up? Let's try a five finger discount. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Steal from Chuck Chain. <laughs> oh, empty pockets. You couldn't steal anything from him. That's alright. Because we're going to hit him with a south of the border stunner. Actually, I guess I could have gone for the Grande Splash to see that out, but that's alright. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Off the... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. God dang it. Pushed the wrong button again. Ended up getting spawned in a certain area of this game that I couldn't get out of, and now I had to restart the game. That sucks. Uh, Let's see here. Toy Box Jimmy is in need of some health. Uh, have some clear tape. 
<laughs> really? Okay. We use an item during combat and we got an achievement for it. Um, you know, let's try this Grande Splash. Time for the Grande Splash. Oh, bam! Well, we knocked one of them out. Nice. Time to take care of Chuck Ta Chain. And we did it! We win! We got two metal chains, which are rare. Nice. Not enough to get Toy Box Jimmy leveled up, but that's fine. Thanks, guys. Muchacho Man owes you big time. Consider us even. My little cousin here says you saved a skin earlier. Sorry for how I acted before. Jimmy says we need to take care of our own. Cousins? Hey, in Boxwood, we don't have friends. Only family. So don't worry about appearances. Well, in that case, you got a couch a brother can cash on? Can crash on, I mean? Ha <laughs> ha! My man says you can sleep in style tonight. Follow me. Hell yeah, we completed a quest. Hey man, do you always sleep this heavy after a fight? You better invest in pillows then if you're going to stay in boxwood. No, I say. I was just enjoying the softness of these plastic sheets. You must not have been expected in company. Yeah, sorry about that. The boys get a little greasy here. Can't have them staining the cushions, you know. But at least you have your own blankie. Psych! I know it's not a blanket. Anyways, I'm glad you're awake. Now, we can get going. Going? Where? Around town, Holmes. Look, last thing I want is for you to get on another gang's bad side. You understand? Cool, we get to explore Boxwood now. Toy Box Jimmy has joined the party. Hell yeah. We got an achievement. I wanted to go talk to the T-Rex. This here is the uh, market district. You got your guns and your groceries, everything you need to survive in the box. We can get a gun? That's awesome. To the north is a school, and to the south are some homes and the local gym. Yeah, I see a treasure box. Oh, I get the treasure chest. Let me get the treasure chest. <laughs> to the west is a hospital. Head there if you need some healing. Duh. You can always buy some tape, too. If you exit town and go to the east, you'll hit the backbreaker boneyard. Best stay away from there, though, Holmes. And why is that, hombre? That junkyard is the hubcaps, gang's ter turf. Those thugs you met last night, we have an uneasy alliance. No beef as long as they don't mess with my shop or my crew. Speaking of which, let's see if we can get you hooked up with something that packs a bit more punch. I mean, I have water guns, apparently. I have water gun, I think I have a metal chain, apparently. Bobble Trigger says, welcome to Refuel and Load. We were one stop for that which keeps you going. Bullets and gas. Hey there, TBG, TBJ. Who's a stranger? This here is Muchacho Man. A real tough guy. He already threw down the hubcap gang. Wow. Came here to get him outfitted with something more powerful. That's a cinch. I got all kinds of stuff to keep you locked and loaded. What can we get for him? We can get a lot of stuff for him. Let's get... Let's get this karate chopper. Hiya! As a slash element. Red been rating 23. Yeah, let's see that. And then... Let's see here. Uh, let's get this. We gotta get... We're gonna get lunch... Uh, we're gonna get Jimmy leveled up a little bit too. Uh, let's get the smoke bomb gimmick. For ourselves. Now let's get him a mohawk as well. There we go. Cool. Um. Yeah, let's not sell those yet. So are you some kind of stunt man in your old town? Stunt man? No stunts here, Comparando. I'm a 100% all real wrestler. Wrestling? My man, you're in the right place. I'm a big fan of wrestling. A big time fan of wrestling. Amigo, Boxwood would explode if I entered the ring. This town can't hold me. This dimension can't even hold me. Jimmy, I'm going to be the greatest wrestler of all time. Huh. You may have arrived in town at just the right moment. 
Are you talking about the Paw Dark Match? Because, comparatively speaking, everything else is just a cup of coffee. I know the local wrestling organization, BW, is going to make sure that their best wrestler ends up in the match. I must therefore become their best wrestler. Oh, see. Hold up a second. Why don't you get a little taste of the local color before you bite off more than you can chew? Speak plainly, Jimmy. No riddles. Just give it to me while Chacho Main Street. Come on, there's always some amateurs looking to slam at the gym. You can cut your teeth on them. Go slam it out with some amateur mat junkies in the thing of the stuff. In the southern section of Oxwood. Okay. Cool. Uh, status effect. Many attacks and abilities can cause buffs or debuffs. These are temporary effects that will last a limited number of turns. They will also disappear once combat is over. Certain gear can protect you from status effects or let you inflict them on your enemies. Check out the Wrestlepedia in the pause menu to learn more. Cool. I wanted to see something real quick. Did we actually put on... Okay, so we can sell the basic hand. Because we have the Karate Chopper instead. And we can sell the action figure Speedos. because we, Unless we want to keep it for someone else, I guess. But I don't know what our inventory looks like. I don't know if it's like unlimited or whatever. So let's sell that. Let's sell that. I don't know what this metal chain thing is. I suppose we'll find that out later on. Oops. I can't do anything with it right now. Okay. Let's actually go back in here. I want to buy... 616. Is there anything else we can buy to... You can get combat boots for Jimmy. Or we can get a headband for him. Because I'm guessing he's going to be around for a little bit, so... Probably should keep him leveled up, too. Or not leveled up, but let, keep him all geared up. Yeah, let's give him some combat boots. There we go. Get rid of this worn-out shoe. Yeah. That works. Get him some armor so we can use him. So he'll be uh, more protected. Alright, let's go look around here. I can't go to the eastern... I don't want to go to the eastern side of town because I have an issue there. Let's talk to this T-Rex. Deke. Man, would you believe my insurance won't cover feather extensions? Superlux impact absorbers, sure, but not feather extensions. Dude. Uh, what? Aren't you a dinosaur? How are you... I don't know. Sturdiness boost? Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what that does, but apparently boosts our sturdiness. Might be an item. Yeah, there you go. Permanently increases sturdiness by one. Alright, cool. Increase Muchacho main sturdiness. Nice. Let's go inside the hospital. Not that we need to, but let's go in here anyway. Hello? Help! Nobody visited in the hospital. Hello. It's pronounced joy dash ah. Got it? Anyway, you need some healing, baby? It'll only cost you 500 slam bucks. You look healthy to me. Feel free to come back for healing at any time. So they're called slam bucks. And also, this is nurse joy ah. Uh, nurse joy dash ah. You know, Pokemon reference. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, Keep finding more treasure. Or find more dinosaurs to talk to. Sunset Flip Tormez says, Man, I was going to jack this car, but my arms are too short. <laughs> That's great. Swagtron says, Hey there, sugar. You looking for some human cyborg relations? Whoa, I definitely can't show that on Twitch. <laughs> Technically, I'm not a human. And technically, you're not a cyborg. No, fair man. How are we supposed to place shirts versus skins when I can't take my shirt off? Hey, we got an achievement for talking to 40 different NPCs. 
I don't even have a shirt, so I'm skins by default. Looks like you forfeit, playa. Forget this. I'm going to go practice my suplex. I'm going to practice my suplexes. I wanted to dunk. A dunk on this mofo. Why is there two shops? Can I go to another shop? Who's this guy? High Winds Wayne says they could. They said it could be a liability in the ring. But if you ask me, nothing looks better than a cape streaming through the air during a high-flying move. Sweet. Cool. Can't go in there. Can't go that way. Can't go in there either. Oh, the drugstore. Awesome. Luchadora Click Summon Samora says I just got these Lube Ton high heels to go with my in-ring personality. No quay afue. She'll kick your eye out. Ow! Don't kick my eye out. Let's go look in the drugstore. Discount Dave says, sorry boys, we're fresh out of cocoa drops. We buy drugs? Oh shoot, we can buy the recipe for Kung Fu Grip Hand. Nice. We don't have enough money though, but sweet. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't have enough money if I did all that stuff either. We'll remember that though. I get some coinage. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can get the recipe. Do some creating of stuff. All right, let's go south. Oh my goodness! It's the nasty boys. <laughs> Nasty boy Brian Knob says, Boxwood and the BW sure love extreme hardcore wrestling, but are they ready to get nasty? Jerry Sag says, we're going to nastyize the soft plastic wannabes around here. Oh man, the nasty boys are here in this game. What in the world is going on over there? Bigger and Val says, hi there stranger, pull up a paint can, this trash barrel is warm. All right. Mean Dean Love Machine says, hey, you look pretty fit, like sculpted plastic. Excuse me? Look, let me give you the back of the package version. I don't think... I need somebody to win a Twisties Cup for me. Oh. It's an award they give to the best performer over at Twisties, the dance club. I promised my gal I would get one, but I just don't have the moves. What do you say? Help out a fellow action figure? <laughs> You know what? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. Where's the dancing ballroom? Whoa, ballroom? Twisties is a different kind of dancing establishment. Okay? You'll see. Just come on back when you're all finished. Uh, we get to go do... We get to go work at a strip club, apparently. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh, we have to go through the... We're gonna have to go through these guys to get there. Miguel says, no way. You really found an antique little stringer guitar case in your Abuelita's attic? C. Under the old water guards. So what was inside? Was there a priceless guitar? No. Inside there was... A plush rat stuffing. Ew. What the hell? Try riding and stained with blood. What the hell? A corpse? How dreadful. How unlikely. Was your Abuelita a murderess? Abuelita, I think it is. I don't know, amigo. I never asked. If there's one thing that guitar case caught me, it's to let the past lie. That was a weird interaction. Alright, let's go do dancing. Oh, we can actually do different ones and get different stuff. That's cool. We get the twist the twi the Twisties Dance Club theme music. That's awesome. Twist this. <laughs> Alright, let's do this Pimente Grande to try to get the Twisties Cup. Oh my god. Dance Dance Revolution in the house. <laughs> this is fantastic.
Success. 15,650, south of the border, Savage. We got the Twisties Cup. Return to Mean Dean Love Machine for your reward. Before I leave, I should deliver the Spicy Cup to Mean Dean. Oh. I wanted to go back and get another... Get, do another one. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Is that it? It is. The Twisties Cup. You have a funny way of dancing the salsa in this town. Yeah. Salsa. Anyways, here. Thank you for helping me out. Cool, we got a power boost. I completed that quest. It's a power boost like a... Yeah, permanently increase the power by one. So let's do that. Josh, I'm going to get your power up. Alright. Can I go dance some more? <laughs> let's go dance some more. Alright, we got that one. Chilly day, chill day toy time. We can get the snake sheath. Keeping it cozy and rosy. Armor rating 8 adds the vibing status. Alright, let's try it. We are dancing away the night. Hell yeah. Success. 17,150 points for that one. We got the snake sheath. Yeah. Yo, what is it? What it is, brother? Nice moves in there, says Disco Broccoli. Gracias, but I'm a wrestler, not a dancer. He laughed. Said, good. Let's keep it that way. Ha ha. See you around, Spice Master Supreme. I'm guessing if I beat all of those, that I'm going to have to take him on. He's warned us not to continue dancing. Alright, well. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better. Even if we are going to lose our smoke bomb gimmick, apparently. Let's do that. You know what? We'll give him the smoke bomb gimmick. There you go. Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. Forgot I only had the one elbow pad. So we can sell that one now. We have everything else equipped. Alright, well, let's go back to dancing. <laughs> uh, surf's up amigo, this one. Get the recipe for shark fin drops. Bitter candies are considered a delicacy for the restorative properties, heals HP, and removes status effects. Nice. Let's do this. Oh god, I missed that one. That one got a little bit quick on me there. Ah! This one I might not end up having as much success with. Kind of dropped the ball on a couple of those there. Dang it! That one I hit too early. Alright, now I'm hitting him too early. Well, it gave us a little success anyway. We'll have to try to do that better next time. We warned us not to keep dancing, and then we did that and got that, so. Do I actually, like, do anything with that, or? I guess I just have it now, so I can create it somewhere. Uh, alright, let's try the Boxwood Strut. See if we can get the dance club theme music. 
Oh god. Ah. I keep doing it just too early on a couple of those. Ah. Well, I got success anyway, apparently. Oh, I didn't get the reward, though. Hey, man, what gives? You're starting to earn a following around here. I thought you belonged in the ring, not on the stage. See, but... No buts, dude. I'm the king of this place, you understand? Don't even think about doing another song, okay? I mean, we're gonna do another song. <laughs> I gotta get the reward on that one, because I screwed up. That one I double-clicked by accident. Ah. Oh, we just fell short. Dang it. Alright, so you really have to do, like, good at this. Which makes sense, obviously. Ah. Yeah, I just screwed this one up. know if I could rest I don't know if it's gonna like restart the game itself or Let me start this. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Ah. There we go. I only had one miss that time. Hell yeah. We got the music. Uh, uh. I guess I could try for the next one. I was kind of stumbling on that one, though. Alright, so we only have to get 10,000 for the last ones as well, so. It's probably going to be a little bit harder. It's probably going to be more like you can only get like one or one miss maybe at most to get the required score on this one. Let's try it. Ah. Alright. I'm <laughs> screwing up too much at the start here. I did not double click that, but whatever. Ah. 
Well, I still got the score for the success, so. I got the gimmick. Twist this. Twist this. All right, man. Enough is enough. Don't set foot in this place again. But why? Surely the stage is big enough for both. No way. Can that jive? I'm the only dancing machine around here. Understand? What's the matter, side dish? Are you afraid? Afraid? Afraid of your dancing? Ha! Careful, Bri Bricole. Don't you know spice is more exciting than vegetables? Oh. Oh, I don't think so. You're done. You and me. Dance off, baby. I'll have the DJ cue up my favorite song. See if you can keep up. All right. Time for a dance off. I don't know if it's this one or what. Might actually be like in a different place. I don't think it's this one. Ah. God dang it. Alright, that one I gotta restart. I was making too many errors at the start there. I take it. All right, well, we got it anyway. Well, five misses isn't bad. We got the power boost. Okay. I've got to admit, the spice of your dancing is intoxicating. You learned a thing or two in the ring about putting on a show, amigo. And you taught me a thing or two about humility, young blood. Here, take this as a peace offering. Oh, so I guess that was the thing. Thank you. Don't mention it. And don't lose that beat. Cool. We got out of sights. And we could complete the Disco Broccoli quest. Hell yeah. We completed Disco Broccoli quest. Ooh, that's a lot better. Awesome. Oh yeah, look at the shades. We lost the the uh, bandana though, but still. Are right, we gotta keep finding more treasure bot or treasure chests? We only found the one so far. There's the guy. Shouts out to anybody who gets that reference. Is this a gaim? Did you just call it a gaim? Can I go in here? I can go in here. What's in here? You need a juice recommendation? I suggest a super kick. Two parts orange juice, one part crushed jalapeno, and five parts tomato juice. Garnish with fruit flavored cereal. Oh, that's weird. We found the juice store special. Cool. I don't know what the juice store special is. Tell us here? It's not in that. I'll leave that as is. Oh, yeah. What's his? Oh, he has none. Uh, you know what? Do... Uh... Do I want to do the same with my, as mine? No, we'll have maybe a technician. Oops, I don't think I confirmed it. Okay, I did. Cool. Alright, what was the... I don't know what it was. Let's permanently increase our power boost, though. Probably should be using those on, on like, Jimmy or something, too, but whatever. What was the... What did we just get? All right. We got something. I mean, it's, like, something we can use during the match or something, I don't know. 
Uh, I want to go to the shop really quick and sell that a couple of those things we've been getting off out. See if we can't uh, get some other stuff here. Can sell that. That long range hydration may inflict demotivi demotivized. Use talent to calculate damage. Weapon range rating twenty one. Oh, it's something we can actually set up as a weapon. Well, what the heck? Why was it not letting me do it before? Maybe I haven't unlocked that part yet. I could get this headband to increase him. Or I could save up and try to get some of this better stuff. Yeah, let's save up. Maybe we haven't unlocked the weapons yet. Yeah, because it doesn't seem to be anywhere there yet. So I guess we'll probably unlock weapons eventually. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, just to double check. I'm going to guess the rest of the treasures are probably on the east side. Where we're not supposed to be going yet. I think we've kind of already explored all this other area over here. Unless there's one in the gym, I guess. Oh my god, he hit him with a chair. Hey, what gives, man? When I hit you, do I get credit for hitting two people? It says Brawny Kilt. Come on, you know I'm trying out a new gimmick, says the Ungraved Bird. Then ditch the old one. None of this half and half nonsense, you walloper. That's Brawny Kilt, a local up and comer. He's also a real hothead. Loves to ruffle feathers. I think you snapped a pinion. Metaphorically, of course. I recognize the other one, the Surf Goth. He's dealing with a major identity crisis right now. Anyways. Brawny Kilt is the one you should challenge. Do that and you could get noticed by one of BEW's promoters. Look, Jimmy, is that you, you mat junkie? Wow, just knock him out of the way. I didn't think you'd be back for another match. Or do you just need help? Finding a seat. <laughs> That's awesome. That was so dumb. Jimmy, what does he need in another match? Were you a wrestler? Look. We don't need to take a ride down that particular memory lane. A wrestler? Jimmy? Ha! More like a test dummy for choke slams. Ha ha ha. I tried my luck in the ring a while back and found out I'm a better fi fighter, a fan than fighter. But at least I'm prettier than Haggis face over here. Watch that mouth of yours, Jimmy, or you'll find yourself on the wrong side of a seating arrangement. I bet we could take you. What's that now? I said you and your best partner wouldn't stand a chance against me and Toybox Jimmy in the ring, amigo. You're nothing but bluster and plaid. We're all wrenches and spice at home, hombre. You're on. Gravebird, get in the ring. Come on, man. You just knocked me out of my nest. Hey, where have I been? Uh, let's go after Brownie Kilt. <laughs> Twist this. It's a dance off time. That's awesome. We stunned that one. The other one's immune. Ow. What are your gimmicks? Chop up smoke bomb. I'll increase your invasion. Okay. Now let's do a tag team move. Tag team! Oh! Taco!
all of the hype right now. Grande Splash. Ho! Oh. Splash time! Bam! High Flying Highlander. Ow! He just kicked the chair to my face. Go after Bronny Kilt. He's weakened. Now he's fatigued. Or whatever. Pit him! Oh, I missed that one. Big kick out. Try for the pin again. Hell yeah, he's pinned. He's pinned and out of this fight. Uh, uh, see what you can steal from him. <laughs> Why not? What can you steal from this guy? Oh, he has nothing in his pockets. What the hell? Why don't you have anything in your pockets, dude? Alright, well, time to hit you with a stunner. Hit him with that stunner. He's worn down. Go for the strike. He's fatigued. Go for the pin. Hell yeah, we win. Let's go. We got duct tape. Jimmy's leveled up. Let's go. Ugh. Maybe I should try a gimmick that includes a helmet. My head is killing me. That was amazing. Hey, Brawny, you were almost as good as a suplex dummy out there. Ha <laughs> ha. Oof. I think I need to sit down. Muchacho masses. You I really owe you one. Introduce me to one of those BEW organizers and we'll call it even, Jimmy. Where can we find one? We have to take a reverse field trip, haha. -ha. Meet the wrestling promoter at the school? Yeah, a helmet. Or maybe some body armor. That would be a good gimmick. Maybe I should get a bigger chair. Alright. Cool. So now we gotta go to the school, apparently. We need recovery. We have two AP. I don't want to pay for that, though. Uh, what are we at? 322, 5. Yeah, let's use that. That works. We'll just have to get our AP up a different way. I'm sure, I can get it up in the ring somehow. I guess I could use an item, too. Like, if I buy one here. So this is a higher weapon rating, and it has an increased knockback chance of 10% if we get this. Hey, yeah, let's do that. There 
we go. Let's buy the headband too. Get rid of the mohawk. Just to increase our stats a little bit better. Hey, look, Dr. Bay, meet my friend. Oh, we've met. A good doctor here doesn't appreciate a healthy dose of spice. I'm not that kind of doctor, blockhead. Barbe, Muchacho here saved Tot from the Cupcake Gang. He, if you were doing your job, Jimmy, he wouldn't have been jumped in the first place. I told you to get Tot's butt to class, remember? He's too bright to be banging around with you and your crew all day. It wasn't my fault. The Hubcat gang broke our agreement. They... Oh, now I'm supposed to be surprised that some hood rats didn't keep their word? Maybe you need to go to school too, Jimmy. Wow. Tell him. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the package. Don't worry about her. She's that way with everyone. Her name refers to Razorburn and her personality. Come on, I'll introduce you to the BEW promoter. He works out of a school? You'll see. It's the principal. Ah, it's Principal Robbie. Toy Box Jimmy, one of Boxwood High's finest graduates. I always knew you'd go far. My shop is a block away. Exactly. Most of your classmates never even made it out of school. Ha ha ha. So you're the one who could help me get into BEW, some BEW fights for a chance at the championship title? I might be, if you can make it worth my while. Worth your while? Worth your while? Amigo! Seeing the spice himself unleashed in the ring is one of the most powerful experiences known to toy kind. It will charge your batteries just looking at it. It's so... You're exciting to watch, I get it. But that's not what I meant. You see, I have a slight slime problem. Sounds like you need to call your janitor, com Comprando. Oh, this is no sawdust problem. There's a creature on the outskirts of town named Slimy. He's a wrestling manager and promoter. Likes to think of himself as a rival, but he doesn't see the beauty of the special events I have planned. I'm interested in making wrestling into more exciting entertainment. Better than entertainment that means more ticket sales. We get more money in the school's bank account. Maybe more of Jimmy's classmates can finally graduate. Look, I don't know what you think we do, but I've never recycled anyone before, and I'm not looking to start now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about recycling? That's a dirty business. There's no money in that. I just want you and your spicy friend here to have a conversation with him. Amigo, if it gets me back in the ring and funds this fine educational institution, you know the muchacho man can't say no. I knew you were an all-star athlete and student the moment you walked in, muchacho. Hey, Barbe, forgot something? Did you two have a meeting with Principal Robbie? What's it to you? Maybe you should follow your own advice about keeping your nose out of other people's business. Wow, what a dick. This school is my business. Take it easy, Dr. Bay. We're just running a little errand for the principal. An extracurricular activity, you get what I'm saying? Perfectly, which is why you'll need a chaperone. It's school policy. Look, these students are everything. Anything that goes on at this school, I want to be a part of it. You will understand? Whatever, teach. Slimy's in the junkyard outside of Boxwood to the east. Let's roll. Hell yeah, we got Barbe joining us too. Hell yeah. We are doing the thing. Can I find any treasure around here? No treasure around here. Can I go in the school? Is there something in school? Oh, I can't go in the school? Dang. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna go talk to Slimy. Backbreaker Boneyard. Here we go. Wait a minute, Jimmy. Isn't this the Hubcap Gang's turf? I thought you didn't care about us 
community organizations and your truces. Besides, that's the only way to get to Slimy. Let's just get in and get out before they even know we're here. Like that crazed fan that stole a wrestling singlet at Mega Slam Mayhem last year. Right on. Hey, Teach, what do you think that yellow control box does? Find your way through the junkyard. I wonder what these controllers do. Breakable boxes, crates, and other objects can be found throughout dungeons and towns. Smashing these can clear the path for rewards or secrets. Additionally, breaking boxes can increase the hype meter for the next battle, providing the pain, the player chains together enough objects in a short window, blah, a short enough window of time. You don't see me. Did I squash him? Nope, I did not squash him. I thought I was going to squash him. Yeah, it doesn't squash him. It'll just block off the side of him. So apparently I have to sneak my way through. I don't like the idea of this, though. I am not a sneaker. I am a fighting everybody kind of person. We're going to fight some people. Hey, you. I like fighting. I like the minor fighting things that I got to do. All right. Let's see. Let's strike Grimy here. So you got to keep leveling stuff up. What's her gimmicks? Daily Apple. She can heal one party member. Nice. Hell yeah, we defeated Grimy. Shark Song. Ah, we put him us to sleep. What the hell? Everybody's asleep. Well, not everybody. All right, well, I'm gonna take care of this shark, dude. So I don't want to be. I don't want to keep getting put to sleep. All right, we defeated the shark guy. Oh, I missed. Hell yeah. We win. See, look. We got a shark's fin. That's obviously good. We got some other crafting items. And we got a whole bunch of XP there, too. Good lord. See? That was worth it. I'll fight you. That was worth that. Reviving. I don't know what vibing does. Probably should look that up. That's alright. Alright, well you gotta take care of, uh... This... We gotta take care of the, uh, uh, shark guy first. We're gonna do the Boxwood special. Can't stop Boxwood's finest. Match the button inputs for every extra damage on every attack. Time for the Boxwood special. Tag team move. They're just volleying him back and forth. That's awesome. Well, we took care of him already. That one's almost knocked out.
There we go. Another enemy bites the dust. Hell yeah. We win. Leveling up. Barbe and Toy Box Jimmy. And we're getting Muchacho main close to leveling up too. She got chemistry class now. I don't know what that does, but we got that. He's got car lover. Alright, cool. See? I am all for fighting everybody. Oh, that's just spits fire out. So you gotta run past that before the fire... Uh, in between fire things are. Time to fight this one. I'll fight you. Oh, treasure. It's a good thing we went this way. Okay, get the treasure chest. Alright. Uh, what is... Oh, we didn't include it in there. Whoops. Oh, well. What? NES vendor? Ha! <laughs> Pez. That's awesome. Oh, I missed the... I hit the wrong button. Ow! She's burning. What the hell? Don't throw fire at us. Uh, chemistry class. Oh, nice. Let's do that. Time to get you all burning. You know, set her on fire? You get set on fire now. Sucks to be you. Did you just lower my SP? My speed, I guess? We broke the pet. We broke the Nez vendor. Wasteland wall, so you just roast their damage up. Somehow he just missed both of those. Nice. Another one bites the dust. Oh, wait. Do we have to pin him? Oh, we have to pin him. Hell yeah. We eliminated that one. Hell yeah, we did it. Ring the bell. Muchacho Man leveled up. Barbe leveled up. Nice. She got hard target and blank slate now for gimmicks. We got up to level 5 here. We got Plain Chicken, Hold My Purse, and Toy Box Blockbuster. Nice. That sounds like a, a double team move with Toy Box here. Source 38p. We're good right now on that stuff. Equipment. I just thought about this. Just have soft plastic body. Oh. Can she use this? Oh, she can't use it. Nobody on our team can use that right now. I don't have anything she can use right now. Or we can get the Raffer jacket. 
Oh, there's actual there's different trophies here than there is anywhere else. Okay. Or not trophies, but treasure. So we're gonna have to go do all that too. We're gonna give her a rat fur jacket, because why not? He gave us something else too, but I guess I didn't see what it was. Oh, it's this one here. Oh, he can use it. Nice. Don't put me in the fire. Ow. You put me in the damn fire. Oh, man, they're all shark ones. To the tag team. Yeah, let's see this boxwood one. That was a good one. Took him out pretty quickly. Oh, I messed up the thing. My bad, never mind. <laughs> I can't do that. But what I can do is hit him with a stunner. Stunner. He's out. Or it's out, I guess. Dang it. Put us to sleep. Why did you just do the shark song too? We're already asleep. Congrats, you put us to sleep after we were already asleep. Alright, well, you woke them up. Oh, we failed. Oh. Well, that'd be helpful. I said we're going to set them on fire. Even if we should be waking Muchacho Man up. Haha, you're on fire. Hey, look, we woke him up. <laughs> All right, that one's out. Time to hit him with the stunner. Hell yeah. We win. Jimmy leveled up. You got a long way down for a gimmick. Get out of the fire. Uh, I want to see. It. I was gonna say. I don't know if I have to like. Maybe some of them you have to do the thing with or something. I don't know. Oh, that's when hype is less than zero. Okay. Just trying to figure that out. Uh, Barbe, you should be like a sidekick. Because you got, like, healing stuff, so let's have you as a sidekick. I feel like Toy Box should probably be something else, but whatever. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, four duct tape. More duct tape. 
cool. Can't go wrong with duct tape. Take the bridge across. What does this do? I don't know if it got us to the end or not. I don't want to be at the end quite yet. Hello. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's try the. Uh, let's try this one again. There we go. Knocked him out. Grande splash time. Bam. Dang it, the stupid shark song. What are you, freaking Jigglypuff? Oh, we resisted that one. Hell yeah. And we resisted that one. Hell yeah. We're resisting your stupid songs. Hell yeah, we win. We got fireworks. I feel like we had fireworks before. Maybe that was just for... Oh, that was uh, just for the other one. So now we got fireworks for Muchacho Man. Oh, a pad. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. I guess I could put it on Jimmy, but whatever. I don't care. I wanted to fight you. I was trying to see if I could get to that control box first, but I'll still fight you anyway. I'll try the smoke bomb thing, see what happens. We got our dodge up. I probably should have had her increase the uh, hype. Oh well. Twist this. Hell yeah, we stunned all of them. Oh my god, look at that hype that jumped up there. Grande splash time. Oh, bam. Hype is all on our side here. They are back into things, though. Uh, let's just do normal strike.
Brace for impact. Oh, he's hiding. His defense went up. We gotta pin the other one, though. So let's pin him. Hell yeah. We pinned him. Ow! Did you just throw garbage at me? Get destroyed. We win! Hell yeah, we got garbage can loot too. Barbe leveled up. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. That did that. Can I go over here? Oh, I have to go around. I'd have to be down there and f go over the top of it. I see. If I do that here. Okay. Uh, did I go this area before? Another treasure chest. Another rat fur jacket. Uh, who can put that on? Everybody can put that on. It'd be one less power for us, but two more armor rating and 1% more damage re uh, resistance. Otherwise, we could put it on Jimmy and have it be more armor resistance and more damage rating for him. So it lowers our power by one. I think it's because the the wrestler one piece is a power of one. Let's just put it on him. That's fine. Yeah, it's plus one for power for the wrestler one piece. That's fine. We'll do that. I'm having fun just with the random encounters in this too. Like, the actual battles are pretty fun. Actually. Do the tag team thing. There's a chance to remove a com unit completely. Does not work on bosses. Alright. Do it. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Boom. It blew up. The shark blew up in the air. <laughs> That's awesome. Stutter. That didn't do much of anything to us. Yeah, we win. Let's go. Muchacho man leveled up. Hell yeah. Spice so nice, teacher appreciation, and triple Iron Maiden. Oh, hell yeah, we got the triple tag team move. Let's go. That doesn't, I guess it doesn't tell me. I want to do that triple tag team move. Let's go, boy. Or cre creeper, creature thing. We're battling all the enemies. I don't care about avoiding them. 
I'm having fun beating him up. I wonder if they both have prepare for a tag team move in order for us to do that. Let's see what the tension does. Oh, it's just on one. Yeah, I like the idea of them catching on fire more. You're all on fire! Oh, man, we got countered. Ow. Uh, spice so nice. Power up for extra damage on the next four attacks. Interesting. Grande splash time. Oh, bam! Oh, we took one of them out. We took the shark out. Oh man. Okay, this guy keeps getting. This guy keeps doing counters to us every time I do an actual move. Well, I didn't realize that was a raider guy. We're gonna have to pin him. All right, go after Grimy because he's almost gone. There you go. Now he is gone. I'm really enjoying this game, though. Like, this is a lot of fun to be playing. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a regular strike. Save our AP. Especially because i got to pin him anyway. Hell yeah. We win. Jimmy's leveled up. All those gimmicks learn now. Like, we're just getting ourselves ready for the boss fight. By getting all the leveled up stuff. Okay, this is... Oh, this is back at the beginning. There's still more things to do around here. So we haven't gotten all the treasure chests yet. Okay. Oh, that's a fence. Can't do that. Here you go up and around. Looks like I break I can't break the fence. Nearum. All right, so we're slowly opening the, opening the path to get to the boss. That's what we're doing there. All right, I gotta go back up because I think there's a path I missed somewhere. Yeah, because it's telling us to go that way. Gotta get over there somehow. I'm not sure how we do that. Maybe it's down this way? That looks like it's gonna spit us out the same spots. I think I went down before. Maybe that was my problem. Yeah, because I can walk past these things. So I guess there's not another control thing. It was just that this is where the boss is after this. Alright, come on, dude. 
we'll take you on before we get to the boss. Not worried about that. What's your monkey wrench? Disable the target special attacks for three turns. Nice! It does say nice on there too, but we're going to do that anyway. Sorry, you can't do your stupid song. Oh, it failed. Damn it. All right, well, let's try detention, see what happens on the shark guy. You're on detention. Haha, <laughs> you're stunned. Can't put us to sleep. Nice. Knocked out that as well. Somehow he got hit with burning. Alright. Why not? Probably should be focusing on the shark, but whatever. Nice. There we go. Muchacho man, pin him. Hell yeah. We win. Barbe leveled up. So now we're at a good spot. Like, when we're going to go take on this boss. Because, like, we're at level 6. They're at level 5. Like, we're in a pretty good spot. And we're not too beat up either. I don't think we've got anything here. We don't already have. We'll be able to sell some stuff, though, when we get out of here. So that'll be good. Alright, let's keep going towards this boss. Yeah, that's how it worked. Cool. Everyone's burning. Oh, and they missed with the Pez rebound or uh, rebound. Uh, or the Nez, sorry. Keep calling it Pez. It's the Nez vendor. All right, well we took them out. Grammy's gonna hide. Shark guy's gonna do some stuff to us, and I messed up the rebound, but that's fine. Cause he's about to die anyway. Or be knocked out, I guess, whatever. Um. Deals water damage to all units. Nice. You missed? Alright. 
Time to hit him with the stunner. Hit him with the stunner. Bam. Even if he does have damage protection. Oh, that's right. He always does that. I forgot about that, but that's all right. We didn't get that much hype or get hit that hard with it, so. Hell yeah, we win. We're going to have all of the crafting items for whenever we can finally craft again. Or, again, craft, period. Hey, look, we got an achievement for nailing 50 bud prompts during combat. Toy box. What's a rat like you doing in these parts? Do you just call me... Is anyone going to touch that one? Anyways, boss, we're just passing through to visit a friend. Truce breakers have no, don't have no friends around here, Jimmy. That was a double negative. Didn't you have enough last time? Heh. You and your blanket are on my turf this time, chump. My turf, my terms, my team. Get him, Scrapjaw. What in the hell? Dios mio, what is that? Ain't no normal junkyard rodent, that's Scrapjaw. That was a double negative. Scrapjaw's a big wrestling fan, blanket boy. He's been studying all the body slams and choke holes in the biz and worked up some nasty defenses. Oh my goodness, it's time for a boss battle. Before the we get to the manager. Uh try chop up. See if we can actually strip them of some of their defenses. Probably can't, but we'll see. Oh we did. Okay, cool. Um Try stunning them as well. Oh, it failed. Alright, well, we're gonna hit him with the stunner. <laughs> I don't know how, though, we just hit a stutter on this thing, but whatever. First stench. Uh oh. Gross. Alright, well that didn't really do that much to us, so. But just to be safe, increase our, uh, our uh, evasion. Uh, let's put him on fire, too. Catch fire! Haha, uh, you're burning. Or maybe you're not burning. I guess you didn't hit, get hit with the burning. You know, that stunner did pretty good damage last time. Let's do it again. Nice, there you go. It's a good chunk of change being... Or, good chunk of, uh... HP being taken off of him when we do that. Oh man, we demotivated... He demotivated Jimmy. I guess that means he can't do any AP moves. Oh. Tire counter, what? Ow. Uh, oh, it's already taken off. Never mind. Alright, let's try the science one. Let's see what water damage does to him. Oh, we missed. And he was able to counter with the tire. Alright. That did nothing. Alright, let's just hit him with the stunner. Seems to be the main thing working for us right now. 
We missed the stunner? How the hell did we miss do doing damage with the stunner? Crime storm. Uh oh. Ow. 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 Alright, well, I guess we're just going to do some strikes, because that seems to be the only thing that's for sure doing damage to him right now. I mean, the stunner did damage to him, but still. Alright, let's do the stunner. Try it again. Hopefully this time it doesn't miss. Nice. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. She got demotivated. Alright, he's on. He's burning now. We're getting him there. Nice. There we go. Let's go. We got two more rat fur jackets. Let's go. Look at all the leveling up. We just leveled up our characters twice. Went from five to seven for Dr. Barbe. All of those gimmicks learned. Toy Box Jimmy now has got two levels up. And learned all sorts of gimmicks. Including wait for it. I don't know what that is. And Muchacho Man level up to level 8. We got those. Let's go. Gah! This isn't over, Jimmy. Boxwood will never be yours. Alright. It already is, rat. Good job, Jimmy. You're undoubtedly the best gang leader in Boxwood now. You say that like it's a bad thing. You think that all there is to life is being the top tough guy in this town? Was that half a lesson in alliteration? Take it easy, Dr. Bay, and let's find Slimy. Hell yeah, we got an achievement for beating Scrapjaw. Was there not, uh... I thought when I was coming down here that I, thought I saw a treasure chest, but apparently not. Oh, yeah, also. Uh, see, I, it probably would be smart to put it on. It's better for us. I mean, we lose one power, but to be fair, our power is pretty good anyway, so let's just put that on. Oh, here we go. Treasure! Hood blinkers. Alright. One more speed, but everything else is lowered. So how about that one? Uh, she doesn't have anything, so let's put it on her. Okay. We have one more treasure around here, but... Oh, there it is. Nice. Belmonte Purse. I'm guessing that's probably for her. Yeah. Nice. There we go. It's a better weapon. Alright, let's keep going and find Slimy here. Oh, Slimy! Wrestlers have to make some tough decisions in their careers. Will you be a paragon of justice and righteousness or a vile and base fiend? The choice is yours, but beware. Choosing a path opens up the door to certain outcomes like new gimmicks, but closes the door on others. Oh, we gotta choose whether we want to be a good guy or a bad guy. Oh. Cool. Yeah, this must be it. Are we a face or a heel? What could Principal Robbie want with this place? Chill out on that door, player. No one ever said pulse... Pulsate ergo some. Hey, Migo, come on out. We want to talk wrestling. Wrestling? Man, don't you know what time it is? Six? 
No, it's time for slime. Hey, climb studs and rhyme studs, it's the slime sta. Awesome. Great entrance. I'm more interested in seeing his exit. Hey now, you came to my door, call me out of my home, and then say you want to see me leave? Are you some kind of blockhead? No, amigo, but I hear you're quite the dunce. What kind of jerk refuses to help the, out the local school? Aw oh, man, did that lesson Super Superintendent Robbie set you to rough me up? Principal Robbie's a great man who wants to showcase some electrifying entertainment to pump up the crowd and get more money for Boxwood High. Ha <laughs> ha, is that so? Man, have you got it all wrong? Let's slimy lay it all out for you. Robbie doesn't want better entertainment, he wants scripted entertainment. He wants every match to be as fake as his toupee, ergo presto very. Also, you think he funnels the money from his promotions back to the school? Man, he uses that money to hire cronies and buy clothes. In fact, the only reason he has to dabble in the local wrestling scene is because of his criminally inept use of funding. Fake matches? But why? That's the part you had a problem with? <laughs> uh, yeah, everything else ev that just happened there, just that's the part you had a problem with? Principal Robbie forgot about the first law of wrestling dynamics. Don't be a soft plastic. Easy now, this isn't the playground. Alright, I'll chill. But it's true. Principal Robbie only cares about the money in his pocket, not the money in the school. So what makes you so different from Principal Robbie? My uncle is a wrestler. I'm a wrestler promoter. Wrestling is in our blood, like scum in a swamp. You understand? Do you think you could help me get into the Paw Dark Match by defeating the BEW champion? Only if you can promise me a victory. The only quid pro throw I demand. So what's it going to be, muchacho? Hmm... Do we go with Slimy? Or do we go with Principal Robbie? You know what? I don't know if I like that Principal Robbie guy anyway. He seemed like kind of a dick. So we're gonna go. Slimy seems like the real deal, and I'm no faker. School's out. I'm gonna sign with Slimy. Look here, my Iridae reptile. Victories are the only thing Muchacho Man delivers. Oh, see. Haha, <laughs> you might just be what this local circuit needs. Some real flair, some real bravado, some real rocks populi. Okay, meet me at the school's gymnasium and we'll get you in the ring, muchacho. Well, you sure taught me a thing or two. I'm sorry, but I just can't work with someone like Principal Robbie. Oh, I know. I know Robbie's a crook. I know everything that goes on at that school. No, I came here to find out about your character. Thanks for showing me. Hell yeah. We completed that quest. Into the dark. Match. <laughs> I like it. Can I break this? I can't break it. Oh, so this is how we get to this one. Up and over. Up and over. We are leaving the junkyard. Joining us today is the only wrestler in the toy room who has spent more money on toy polish than you make in three lifetimes. Dash talent. Yow. It's good to be here, but it's better to be me. Ha ha. I gotta just turn the ha ha part into Jeff Jarrett's uh, thing now. Dash, as the heavyweight champion of Paw, I imagine you know everything that's happening in the company. Any big change-ups or additions in the work? It works. Well, Double J, I don't want to spoil any surprises. Let's just say you can count on seeing some new faces at the PAW. Ugh. Celine Logan says, still getting those extra workouts, I see. I do one quick one, more free time that way. Yeah, but you also have sloppy form. Damn. You tell her. What are you doing here, sis? Did you leave the independent circuit and come all the way home just to get some training pointers from your big brother? You wish. Actually, I'm here because of some big news Dad has. What is it? What? You don't know? Ha! I can't believe I found out before you. Probably because you're always down in this dungeon, training your arms off. Get, get it? Because, you know, dungeon and 
the great north and the excellence of you know uh, all that stuff <laughs> i actually think my delts are my best feature but seriously what's the news tell you what if you can catch me i'll tell you run after her i got stuck all right <laughs> I just turn around and stop there. <laughs> now tell me, or is your big bro going to suplex you? Or your big bro is going to suplex you? Ah, all right, you win. Dad says LF font is coming to town. LF font? Wow, it's been a while since he's been out. And you know what that means. He's probably coming to take one of our guys to, up to paw. I wonder why dad didn't tell me. Do you think... Do you think he wants to surprise me? Do you think this is my big break? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Pa and Ma want to meet you in the conference room. I'll see you there. Alright. Cool. Well. Uh, with that. I think this is what we're going to call the stream. 